I think maybe the thing that I'm going to enjoy most about Halloween is the fact that my internet will stop being flooded with tutorials on how to look disgusting and gory. Anyhow, this is a story that I think everybody can relate to, being rejected. And I spent 25 years plucking off the top of my eyebrows because of what one boy said in the sixth grade. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Sue. Today for our coffee date, we are drinking Tom's coffee. Yes, like the shoes. I dislike it as much as I dislike the shoes. No offense. Um, different strokes for different folks. I really think their shoes are not pretty. Anyhow, I saw today that they had coffee and I was looking for Peruvian coffee, which is my favorite. It's a great organization. It's not a great coffee. So for our next coffee date, we're gonna try something else. It tastes kinda of like Folgers. I can get Folgers for a third of the price. So I'm not really into Halloween. I think maybe the thing that I'm going to enjoy most about Halloween is the fact that my internet will stop being flooded with tutorials on how to look disgusting and gory. There was a time that I was into movies like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and I grew up watching Freddy Krueger movies so I get the nightmares on Elm Street. But as I've gotten older I've decided that what we feed our brains is really important and if things are going to be disgusting they need to be gross for a purpose much larger and for a plot much deeper than than what most modern horror genre things are about. If you're not watching Stranger Things, you need to be. If you are not watching Stranger Things, what are you doing with your entertainment life? You are missing out. We can still be festive, right? We can put our makeup on, we can feel good, it's Halloween, and we can really embrace the Halloween vibe and be totally work appropriate, even if you don't work at a comic book store. All right, so today is not a tutorial. This is just kind of a get ready with me thing. I'm just getting ready for my day and enjoying Halloween festive kind of vibe. So we're just hanging out, get to know each other a little bit, and hopefully I'll inspire you a little bit to kick up that festive look. I used to have a friend who told me that after watching Boardwalk Empire that I should start wearing orange lipstick. I thought she was crazy. A couple years later, I found myself in a Mac store. Beautiful Brie convinced me to go home with Forbidden Sunrise. It's not good, but I can't stop drinking it because at least it's coffee. So right now I'm just laying kind of a base color. It keeps things moving smoothly. I have learned that much from beauty experts, which I am not. That's all right though, we don't have to be an expert, right ladies? We just gotta be able to get our face made for the day and feel good about it. Basically, I'm hoping I can inspire you not to wear nudes every day. Guys, you don't need to wear nudes every day. You can pull off so much more if you're interested in that. So this past weekend, my husband and I were getting out some camping things I started grabbing Christmas boxes and pulling them out, which he tried to remind me Halloween hadn't happened yet. And I said, oh, but soon, soon. And while I have zero interest in being afraid of, of who's knocking at my door, I'm really jazzed for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I feel like it's a season that always flies by entirely too fast. Okay, we're gonna go a little dark. No need to be nervous, ladies. Dear Lord. If you put your face on and you manage to pull off a look that's hideous and not at all what you were looking forward to, wash it off. It's not a big deal. If you want to learn what to do for your eyes, may I suggest Stephanie Nicole or Alyssa Ashley or Wayne Goss. 
The trick is we're trying to create shadows so that our hoods don't look enormous. And again, that's only if you have hooded eyes or deep set eyes. Okay, so to go in for my shadows, I am going to use Colored Rain Eyeshadows, which is a black owned company and it's very important to support, to support great businesses. And if you can support small businesses, great. And if you can support people of color businesses, great. This is not about being against white people. This is about making sure to support smaller companies that often get overlooked for a variety of reasons. So just wanna put that out there. But black owned makeup brands, there are some really great ones and Colored Rain is currently my favorite. If you haven't heard about them, that explains the problem. You should have heard about them by now. I feel like we can go bigger and harder than this. don't like to waste it. I get that a lot of people really like Halloween. For me, I just, Mark and I are trying to adopt and in the process of trying, oops, trying to become parents, I look at the whole world differently. I'm serious, like the amount of murder that is considered completely acceptable for our children to watch. But if they see a nipple, let's just all go to fly in hell about it. How about that? That is some super orange. So this is a satin from Color Drain. They have multiple finishes, of course, the way that most companies do. They've got matte, satin, duochromes, and foils. I think it's really pretty. It actually has a slightly, almost a greenish shimmer to it. I mean, just ever so slightly greenish shimmer to it. It might just be this lighting, but uh, that gives it an almost duochrome quality. Now, another cool thing about Halloween colors is they are autumn appropriate. So even though I'm doing this for the official holiday of Halloween, you can do this all through November. Uh, you could do this through September, the autumn months. You can wear a bold color. You don't have to wait for a specific holiday where it looks like you're wearing a costume, you know? Yeah, that takes it too pink. Oh yeah, oh. Hello, foil. You know, the only thing I'm really regretting from this is doing that darn dark crease color. I like kind of a clean eye look, which I know sounds crazy. I want to look like clean tie-dye. Does it make sense? I don't want it to look muddy. I don't want to look shadowy too much. I don't want to look sultry. I'd rather look more comic book-esque than seductress. Okay, I really should have gone in with purple for a crease color, which sounds nutso, but I would have liked that better. And I know this has kind of a purplish tint, but it also has a brownish tint that I'm not a fan of. So I'm gonna go with a duochrome foil now. It's not a duochrome foil, it's just a duochrome. So to try to at least enjoy this darn mauve brown color. Turns out this is a bolder look than I was going for originally, but... Okay, so this is not necessarily a look you can go for at every job. But you don't have to take it to an extreme, just get some color on that face. Get a color besides nude pink on your face, you know? How about a Halloween look for you? Ha get some liquid eyeliner in the whites of your eye. That's um not a look I was going for for Halloween and one I would not recommend because while I can see fine right now, I have a feeling my eye is going to be dyed for the day. Let me tell you a little story about a 12 year old girl named Ashley Sue. His name was Derek, and I thought he was the cutest thing. And it turns out he and his cousin started going to my church for a while. And I remember our youth minister had us playing a game. And Derek's sweet cousin, Rodney, 
could tell that I had a crush on Derek. I'm pretty obvious about how I feel about things and people, apparently, no matter how hard I try to hide it. I think Derek had maybe even talked to me on the phone a few times and I thought that maybe he was gonna end up being my boyfriend, but he kind of stopped talking to me out of nowhere and Anyhow, this is a story that I think everybody can relate to, being rejected. For one reason or another, Derek's sweet cousin Rodney asked Derek what was wrong with him that he wouldn't just ask me out. Derek kind of wouldn't answer him and was shaking him off. <sighs> to which Derek snapped and rather loudly said, look at her. She looks like a jack-o'-lantern. I remember Rodney asked what on earth Derek was talking about. And Derek said, her eyebrows look stupid. They come to a point like a jack-o'-lantern. I went home that night and completely plucked off the tops of my eyebrows. That was almost 26 years ago. And I spent 25 years plucking off the top of my eyebrows because of what one boy said in the sixth grade. Now, I'm not saying this because we all need to cry for me, and I'm not saying this because I'm somehow still longing after Derek. I'm not even saying this because Derek's some sort of bad guy. He's not, he was just a kid with an opinion. And the thing is, is I went home and I didn't hold on to the fact that Rodney thought Derek was crazy for not asking to be my boyfriend I held on to the fact that a boy called me a jack-o'-lantern. This year, I started trying to use a skin brightening solution to try to get rid of these little dark corners that are on my eyes that I thought were sunspots, but it turns out they're my hair follicles. I'm supposed to have eyebrows there, but I didn't make peace with that until this year at the age of 30 stinking seven, man. I somehow stumbled into Carol Tuttle's, in her series she talks about how your physical body tells you what type of person you are. That your actual physical characteristics are an indication to your personality also. Which is really reaffirming that God creates us very particular ways and that I'm special as I am. You're special how you are. And God made your eyebrows how your eyebrows are and your personality, how your personality is. I felt horrible, like I had neglected a part of who I am and then neglected my body. That I had rejected my own body. Now I know there's a fine line, because here I am putting on makeup and God didn't make me with orange eyelids or orange lips. But there's a difference between putting something on because it makes you feel good and feel vibrant and have a good day versus rejecting a part of your body. And yeah, some people are going to say, it's just eyebrows. It's not that deep, sis. But it is. So I pretty much stopped tweezing, which is why my eyebrow game is crazier than crazy these days. But now when I draw my eyebrows on, I proudly draw on the jack-o'-lantern. And if Derek or anybody else doesn't like my look, cool, no problem. And in the long run, I got to end up marrying a man who is amazing and actually likes me better without any makeup on. He really likes when people can embrace who they are, how they are, and be really low maintenance and energetic and confident in that. And as far as Derek goes, hopefully he found a girl with eyebrows he likes. No matter what shape they are, hopefully he likes them how they are because he likes her for who she is. And as for Rodney, I hope he's very happy in his life wherever he is and whoever he is with because he is a guy who already seemed to have his priorities about him right as far as just being a gentleman. Let's, let's go big. And because too much is never enough, we're gonna go highlight now. We are gonna go kind of with an iridescent, ghostly looking highlight. If I can get it open. Don't let words from your past, from people who don't matter, and I don't mean that Derek didn't matter as a person, 
but his words should not matter at all in my life. Don't let words from people from your past haunt you like that. Try to evaluate on a daily basis why you're doing the things you do. Why do you reach for that same color of lipstick day after day? Why do you tweeze the top of your eyebrows? Maybe why do you tweeze your eyebrows at all? Anyhow, I put on a very ghastly, greenish iridescent highlighter and it is rocking my world right now. I don't know how anyone else would think about it and I don't really care because I kind of like my weird day glow nose right now. It's like Rudolph, the Halloween version. If by chance this look is something you are interested in, this is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. It's got a good glow for Halloween or in my opinion for any day of the week. And honestly, I think that a lot of our motivations are based on fear or nervousness and insecurities. We're made to be unique and creative and some people naturally are fiery. Some people naturally are calm and cool and smooth. Some people naturally are spastic and fireworks and but something I really like that Carol Tuttle says is what if your greatest weakness is actually your greatest strength? I talk all the time. I've spent my whole life apologizing for talking all the time. And the thing is actually a lot of people in my life say that they are quiet around me, which is good because I talk so much. I actually enjoy being around other people who are talkative because then I get to take a break from talking and I get to listen to someone. So here I am apologizing because I talk a lot to people who aren't big talkers in my life. They don't really understand my motivation for talking so much because they're not built like I am. They don't realize I like talking with someone. That's my strength is conversation with someone. I just like interaction and I like conversation and I like getting to know you. And if you don't talk, then I don't get to know those things. Well, I guess that's a pretty good coffee chat for the day. The coffee kind of stunk, but I had fun putting on my makeup and talking with you. And I really hope to get to know you better some too. You know how I can get to know you better? Come hang out with me on Instagram maybe even on Twitter. For the record, I don't follow people back who have private accounts until they actually start leaving comments on my post. And then I know not to be afraid of you. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe. It would make my day. It would make me so happy. If you've ever been called hideous or jack-o'-lantern or stupid looking from someone and you remember it. Give me a like button so I know that this was at least relatable. Be you and know that I actually will think that you're beautiful exactly how that is. And it's about knowing who you are in God. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me. I hope we have another coffee date soon. If you have any coffee recommendations, let me know because Mwah. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Happy Halloween!